Hello and welcome back to my channel Thomas Ashley and welcome back to Candid with Cancer. This is episode 15, we're nearly at the end and this has been an incredible, incredible journey. Only six more, well five more after this to come out and I can't believe it everything that's happened thank you for all the support from everyone who's watched a single episode or even if this is your first episode watching it means so much to me without further ado let's get into candid with cancer candid with cancer 15 the pandemic the pandemic i could write more about the pandemic however we all lived through it we were all on similar paths no matter our age or where we were we all had to circumnavigate it, all with our own experiences. And I'm sure we could all write about it. It's a time I didn't choose to forget. I just didn't remember. So, this is going to be a short piece to set up my make or break in the coming blogs. As hard as it was for others and the unique climate we were in, I actually saw it as a sense of relief. As weird as it sounds, it was a time where time stood still. For me personally, I could stop. I could pause, put the brakes on finally, and slowly come to a halt instead of chasing, chasing and chasing. I think what I found most satisfactory at the time was that everyone was in the same boat. Everyone had to stop. No one could do anything. And when you've been comparing yourself to others for so long, to know you're now all in the same boat, I somewhat took that pressure off of myself. It didn't last too long though. There's only a certain amount of time you can forget, or my favorite saying, run from the true cause the deep-rooted foundations which needed fixing. Though it started off as a time of relief, a time I could recoup, gather my thoughts, the thoughts soon became all I knew. During the pandemic, I was scared. There's no way around that. Being clinically extremely vulnerable, watching the news and seeing the number of deaths, I was frightened that I could easily succumb to COVID. And it wasn't because I was scared of death. I was scared that I'd survived in misery for this long, that I'm not just going to let a virus take me out this way now. I did everything possible, and so did my family, to mitigate the risks of any of us catching the virus, let alone infecting me. And it was a challenge as it was for everyone. I was somewhat used to living in isolation, having had to do so for so long during my teenage years. I knew what it was like not being able to leave the house, but similar to relapsing the second time, you also knew how awful it was. You knew what was coming. As the pandemic went on and the rules started to relax, I knew I couldn't. As my friends started seeing each other again, going out more, I knew I couldn't. Even when I could see my friends, I was in constant fear, keeping my distance, not getting too close, constantly washing my hands. It was hardly seeing your friends. I knew I had to take control of the factors I could control because I couldn't trust others to do so for me. It was tough. And as time went on, I started to feel left behind again, similar to all those years ago. Though we were all in the same boat at first, my boat just never got going. And I could see myself being left behind again. And before I knew it, another year and a half had just vanished. I hadn't done anything. I hadn't achieved anything. I was in the exact same position I was in mentally and physically when the pandemic had started. Just two more years of my life used up. But I hadn't done anything to help myself. I had just let that time pass. 
here was me thinking I needed a rest or break that would fix everything. But it doesn't unless you put the work in. But I didn't know that because I've been putting work in for years and every time I did, I just got worse and worse. So here I am, two years later from when the pandemic happened, two years to be able to work on yourself, but instead I decided that I didn't need to, that I would just get better. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I really don't remember much of the pandemic. There was nothing that happened, nothing to bring it together. Yes, I was able to break and finally stop traveling at 100 miles per hour. However, it wasn't the break I needed. It wasn't a self-inflicted break where I could work on myself. It was a break that was forced upon me when I still didn't know how to work on myself. And every time I write this, looking back on all these years, it still pains me to know I, I did nothing to help myself. That I didn't know how to help myself. Because it would have saved me from so much more pain. More hurt. And I don't say that sparingly. This is all said with hindsight though. Because I would like to think I would have helped myself if I could. Coming out of the pandemic around January 2022, something happened. Not that I knew what it was. But I knew it was bad. I was spiralling again. I knew I was. I didn't know why. But I was. And one thing I did know was that it was going to be my make or break. I knew that this time, whenever I reached that catalyst, I was going to have to deal with whatever it was once and for all because I knew I couldn't go on living like this any longer that was episode 15 of candid with cancer thank you for watching that's all those guys I'll see you back next week